Woo, Lord, let me tell y'all, when I say that I have been waiting for this stupid bag for a full week, if you haven't gathered from the, the title and the little thumbnail, this is Ipsy versus Ipsy for the month of June. This is our standard glam bag. Basically what that is, is uh, my mother and I both have the standard glam bag and the glam bag plus subscriptions. So every month I take our two bags and I compare them. I open them up. I don't check spoilers for myself. I don't really know my mom's spoilers. Sometimes she tells me about them. Uh, like if she's really disappointed, which happened this month. So she, I kind of know what's coming in her bag, but I don't normally check spoilers. Um, I open them up. I'm surprised. I see which bag I like better as a, a total package. And then I create my ideal glam bag with the top five products out of the two bags that we received. So I do that every month. Um, we got our glam bag pluses very early and we got that posted. Um, I know you guys really like subscription boxes. So I try and get them up as soon as I get the bags. Well, let me tell you, it is Thursday and last Friday, so a full week ago, mine showed up and then some add-ons that my mom had bought last month showed up and I thought that was her bag. So we sat down, turned on the lights, was getting ready to film, I was all into it. I opened up her bag and I realized it's not her bag, it's add-ons and I was like, crap. So she checked and she was like, okay, it's gonna be here tomorrow, Saturday. No, it just showed up like five seconds ago. So here we are Thursday night at six o'clock. Um, hopefully we'll have this up for you guys by tomorrow evening, which is Friday. But I try and get them up as fast as possible because I know you guys like them and I really like doing them. So just a little bit of backstory. Sorry it's late this month, but you know what? Mail is gonna be the mail. So we gonna just have to wait for it sometimes. Now with this, I always start with my mom's bag, which is this one right here. I personally was a big fan of my box this month. Uh, I, I was very disappointed for a couple months uh, with what we were getting in the boxes and I felt like this one was a really good one. My mom did not really like hers and I was kind of like, why? Because I felt like she got good stuff too. And then she explained it's because she feels like this little bag is very repetitive for what she got with that one. So let's see what she got in it. Like I said, I like with everything, especially like with the whole social dialogue that we've got going on in America right now, I really love this bag. It's very inclusive, very body positive, very like everybody, is represented and it's like a whole like just love yourself type vibe to it and I really like that. So I think it's really cute. The big size or the medium size was like green and this one's yellow. So very cute, good job matching them. So this bag is the Make Waves bag and um, I like the theme, I thought it was cute. I thought the little beach bag represented that pretty well. Uh, I was really disappointed though. I think they got rid of like the little cards again, which I know for a couple months they tried to do it online and then they brought it back and I guess now they're going back to online. I don't know, I miss them. I like having the card that tells you what you get. But So the first thing she got is the Clean Lab AC Dew Foam, which is a, I'm assuming it's like just a cleansing foam. Slightly acidic cleansing foam. I like foam cleansers. The slightly acidic, I know for certain skins that probably would not work well. I personally think for my skin it would be a good one. I think I think she was not going to like that if I'm being 100% honest. Um, I do know one of her biggest complaints was, like I said, she felt like this bag was very repetitive and she got a full size cleanser in her box. So I like it. I don't think she's happy with it though. Um, the next thing she got is a Hello Fab Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. Once again, I'd be happy with it, but she did get a big primer. So these are all her complaints. I'm relaying them to you to give you guys like the full story and the, the both sides of it. Like I said, right now, I like both of these products, but I do understand absolutely what her complaints are because I mean, obviously it's the same account. So she would like a little bit more variation. Um, the next thing she got was what she chose and I believe it's what I chose as well. I don't ever remember what I pick. I should, but I don't. Um, this is the Ofra Cosmetics highlighter in it's Ofra times Talia Mar in the shade Soho. I love it. I love that they do this with the Ofra or I always do that. I say Ofra and then I, it's, I think it's pronounced Ofra, but I always say Ofra. I'm sorry. I don't. It, well, I, I, it, it changes, it's just how I feel, sorry. But I love that they do this. They always, when they include Ofra products, they always give you like what I would call a full size. This looks like full size to me. The pan may not be quite as deep as what it is when you pay for it, when you buy it in the store, but it's pretty daggone close. So I love it. That's why when they offer it as one of your um, choices, I normally go with that, whether it's a bronzer or a blush or a highlighter. So she chose that as well. And that's a great product. That's a real good product in my opinion. And that's worth every bit of $12 in my opinion. Yeah, I, I can't defend this one. She got a body lotion. Uh, I don't like body lotions. 
Some people love them. They are a waste of time for me. They are nowhere on my preference sheet. They're nowhere on her preference sheet. So um, I know she said like, what the hell? And I was kind of like, yeah, I, I can't defend that. So she got a body lotion, so not great. Um, and then the last thing she got was a um, Mayel, I think is the name, uh, but it's a lip crayon in a very red shade, which she will never wear. I most likely will probably wind up getting this because she just won't wear it. Knowing her, yeah, this is not a good bag for her. Um, I it's not the best bag we've gotten this year, definitely. Um, I like the highlighter a lot. I actually, I love primer, so I like the primer. I don't mind the lip shade and I like lip crayons and I like the cleanser. So it's not the best bag, but it's not a bad bag in my opinion. But knowing my mom, it's not a bag that was designed for her. It's, it's very, uh, <laughs> It's not what she would customize, if that makes sense. It's it's one of those where you you know you feel like you take the quiz and then like, do they really matter that much? Because this is just not stuff that she would pick. I, I'm kind of hoping my bag is better, but like I said, I really don't mind it as much as she minded it. And I'm bringing this up because she literally, like when I got the box, I was like, oh, I like the box. And she was like, I hated the box. And I was like, why? And then she was like, I went back and checked my spoilers and I like, that's why I hated the box. I was like, okay. Um, so we're jumping into my bag now. So let's jump into mine and see what I got. Interesting. Okay. So uh, same little make waves. That's the theme. Did get the highlighter, which like I said, I'm excited about it. Love it. Love it. Oh, I think mine's different. <gasps> it is different. I got a different shade than she did. Mine is the shade Covent Garden. And actually I think this is like a slightly more like rose gold, um, almost a little purpley even. And I like it and I think the one that she got is better for her and the one that I got is better for me So that's cool. Actually. I didn't realize they had multiple ones, but yeah, so that's and I did I did pick it So the next thing I got is a Kat Von D locket translucent setting powder. I love setting powders um, Pretty decent size. I mean, it's still definitely a sample, but it's not a bad sample size You definitely will get a couple good uses out of it Kat Von D I mean, there's been a lot of controversy with her brand So I don't normally buy her stuff, but I don't think it's bad necessarily. I'll definitely use it So I like both of those products obviously So the next thing I got is an eggplant mud cream mask and I just every single damn bag or box I get it has a mask in it It just no matter how many times on my preferences I ask for no masks and I've been doing a lot more skincare recently, but I literally have, I just reorganized my makeup and I have four drawers filled with just masks. So uh, yeah, so it's a nice tiny little mask, nice for traveling. I probably only will get like two uses out of it. Um, but I really, I don't really care about this one personally. All right, so I actually got a lip color as well. Mine's seal has been broken, um, but I think that was Nikki. It was Nikki, because Nikki did the thing already. So I was like, that's weird. This is a great color in my opinion. This would actually be a color that I think my mom would more likely use than the red that she got. Um, I, I may actually see if she wants to trade just because I I will get more use out of the red, even though this is the color I would choose over it as well. She's just never gonna use it. I feel bad that she'll never use it. But I like this color a lot. It's like a very nice like peachy shade, really good springtime, summertime shade. And like I said, I really like lip crayons, so I think that's a good one. Uh, the last thing I got is an Essence Herb tree, Tea Tree Foam Cleanser in a pretty nice size for traveling. Collectively, how do I feel about my bag? I'm kind of neutral about it. I like the highlighter. The highlighter, in my opinion, like I said, is worth $12 when you think about the lip color that I like. And then the, the cleanser I will use and the, the concealer or the setting powder I'll use as well. I don't think it's a bad bag. I don't think it's the best bag we've gotten this year. Um, kind of underwhelming, but... You're not gonna have wins every month, just plain and simple. If I had to choose a bag as a collective, I probably would choose mine. Um, I feel like my cleanser was at least a, uh, a, <laughs> a bigger size than the cleanser she got, which was pretty tiny. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with my bag, especially with that lotion. That lotion is just a waste of time in my opinion. Sorry, I know, I know. Last time I talked about lotions, people jumped on me because they're like, I love getting lotions. If you like getting lotions, that's great. I just don't, so. Sorry. Anyway, let's pick out the favorite bag. I gotta really, really think about it actually. Cause like there's some stuff that is, I like her highlighter too though. It's, it's complicated. So I am gonna choose the highlight shade that I got. So that's one for my bag. I'm gonna go with the primer from her bag. Cause I like that. And then I think I'm gonna choose everything else from my bag besides the eggplant mud mask. So the Kat Von D setting powder, my shade in the lipstick and my cleanser, just because my cleanser is like significantly larger. In fact, let's see. Yeah, mine's a full fluid ounce and her cleanser was a half of half an ounce. So yeah, so it's like double the size. Meh. 
kind of a meh month. That's just how I feel about it. Meh. The box was good. This one was meh. So yeah, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I apologize if I was talking fast at the beginning. Nikki yelled at me for it. I was trying to get this video done because we've been waiting so long for it and I've been dying to do it, so I apologize. Yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys got in your boxes. I always love to see what people will say that they got in their bag, how they felt about their bag. I know when I posted the plus, people were, I said that I liked it, people were saying they were not happy with it. Some people were saying they liked what they got, but a lot of people said that they were disappointed this month, so I'm always interested to see how you guys respond to it. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.